okay, after we can have a good another checkpoint, then we can start to do the alignments for the print head. So we go to the software and be sure it's connected with the, with the printer, with green icon, and then we go to adjust. And we go to head install, choose head install. And we go to choose the vertical check print. We click print. Here we can put 20 and we can click off the white margin. And then we go to print. Then the printer will start to print the calculation picture. Then the printer starts to print the, the calibration picture. So we can see the calibration picture coming out as this. And we must be sure the top and the bottom is connected where like strip the line as this. If it print like a strip line, so so this picture is printed by by two times two pass. If the good alignment of the print head, for example, this is the print head, it must be printed as strip line. The first print, the second print must be connected together. So this is the good alignment for the good installation for the print head. And if it print like this, the top and the bottom is moved like this. If the print head installed not good like this, so the top will be like this. So it's not connect where. So this wrong connection, or it like this, is convert to right. The first print, and then the second print, like this. This is also not good. So this is good alignment print out picture. The top and the bottom, the connection parts must be connected together as a straight line, vertical and horizontal. And if we print our picture like this, so we must turn out print head by to right. And if print out like this, we must turn to left, like this. So we, when we see the picture clearly, we can see it have a little bit overlap. To write to to right there and uh, to left. Then we just little adjustment. We go to the print head. This color, and of course we adjust the color print head. We loosen the full screw here. This remember we just loosen the screw of the of the print head adapter board, but not the print head. We loosen the screw. This one. Little bit, and this one, a little bit, and then also I back at the left side, this one, a little bit, and then this one, a little bit. Then we can load the adjust the tools. We can because we want to turn the print head move to left, but this way. Oh, sorry, uh, this one, this print head, because the print out that we, we see the picture is color print head. This color print head is here. This color print head. The white print head is on here. The varnish is on here. So it is hard to see because of the white paper. But you can see if you are on the lines, see, see the light. So for, for example, we take the color print head for test. This color print head, 
So this is the coupling head. We just loosen the four screw of the coupling head. And this one, loosen a little bit. And this one, loosen a little bit. And then this one. The four screw installed on the pallet of the carriage. And the last one at the back side. This one. And then we can little adjustment the adjust the knob, this screw. Because we want to turn on turn the, the carriage move to the anti the anti-clockwise version by this way. We move a little bit to left, the top. So we just uh, loosen a little bit this screw and we can move the car the print head a little bit to here. Just try, just move a little bit the print head a little bit to right or uh, to left. Up that loosen it. We can move this one to push down the screw and this one we loosen it. Then the pallet will be the print head will move to right to left. We move down a little bit, not too much. It depends on the print out picture. Then we loosen back. We we, we fasten back the screw for the print pallet. And then we print, we print the picture again. We turn on the one cube. And then we do the test print. And here we can see the print art quality is not good. The line is not straight. It's like this. It's not straight line. Because the gap between the print and the quality is too big. So when we pull out the carriage, because we both print on the acrylic. So we can see the gap is bigger than two millimeter. It's about two centimeter. So we can move it. Then we bring it again. So this is also not good because it's not strip lines. The gap between print head and the meter is too big. Let me put it again.
So this is the latest printout after we alignment. So here we can see the connection is good. Left, the top, the bottom is a straight line. Not, not overlap. This is overlap a little bit. This is good. So this is the good alignment. This is the good alignment for, for the, the print head calibration. And this is not good. This like this is because the gap, the gap between the print head and meter is too big. We must uh, really move the table up. Then we got this. So the table, this one is the table between the print head and the meter is too bigger. So the the line is not straight. It's like width. And this is overlap. And this is overlap. And this is after the alignment print head with straight lines. So this is the good alignment for the print head. So in one word, we just remember <coughs> when we have the close lines print out, we just we just uh, alignments, we loosen the screws for one, two, three, four, the four screws on the aluminum pallet. Then we adjust the tools, this one, to move the print head to left and to right, to load it. And after that, we loosen back, after the alignment, we loosen back the, the tool, the, the screws for the print, for the print head adapter board. Please remember we not loosen these four screws, just uh, another four screws. This one. One, two, three, four, the back side. And the front two. This one and this one. Loosen four screw and adjust the, the front two screws to do the good calibration of the, the printing head vertical. So this uh, the vertical calibration. After that, we can start to do the next calibration. Let me go to the step adjustment. At the adjust, step adjust. And we choose one pass for the standard and then we click print. We click off the wire edge. I guess we put by 40. And we start print. Then the printer will start to print a picture. The lines. So see here we can see some, uh, some lines print out. We must che check to find out. The zero is the the best at front, the front and the bottom. And right now we can see the zero is not the best. The zero is overlap to bottom and the top. And here is also not good. We find which one is the best first. And we move to the right, and we can see, or oh, it's not good. And then we can see which one is better. The minus one is better. Better than zero. Then we put minus one. We go to the software. We go to software and we put minus one. Minus one. And then we print again. To double check. <clears throat> and now we can see zero is the best. Anyway, we must be sure zero is the best. It's not overlapped bottom at the top. The first print, the first print 
And second point, three lines, the four lines must be not overlap. If like this, it's not good. Or like this, not good. Must be sure it's like this. All are straight lines, vertical. And then we go to the basic step. And also we move the table a little bit to the back. Move back the table a bit. And then we go to basic step. And we click print. <coughs> then we see the step. And zero is not the best. I think. Let me see. Uh, yeah, zero is the best after we calibration. And here's move to down to down position. It's not good. It's overlap. And when go to manners, it's, it's also move to up. The small lines move to up. It's not good. It's not a straight line. <clears throat> so that means. The step is good. <clears throat> we just keep as this. So this the step adjustment calibration. Then we go to do the head space calibration. The head space calibration means the print head position between each print head. Because we print the white color varnish by one pass print, we must be sure the white layer, color layer, and varnish layer print at the same position. No any overlap for any position. So we go to headspace. The first we go to choose the horizontal, check the horizontal, uh, left, right, vertical calibration. And because the, by this way we print adjustment, it's hard to see the lines because the white ink lines with more. So the best way we can print a picture and always the H1 print head is zero. You cannot change. Keep all print zero, H1 print head as zero. We change print head position by H2 and H3. H1 is color, H2 is white, H3 is varnish. Like this. So we forget it first. Then first we go to print, we setting, and we choose the speed, middle, and we choose the first we adjust to left. If we have good calibration for to left and to right, then we can have good calibration for that direction. So we go to choose left and we find out the picture the file that go with machine deliverer usb flash they have the file named color offset calibration file the color calibration offset calibration file this picture with wet color and varnish together with one picture then we print this picture, the square, to check if the white layer, color layer, and varnish layer have overlap or not. So we just go to first, please remember, we choose by middle and to left, and click save. Then we go to print, choose the file, set the margin. And then we go to print. And also must be sure, the layer we choose by normal here. Then the printer starts to print a square picture out. <clears throat> First print the white layer, then print on the print the color layer, then print the varnish. So you can see the white layer is printed out. Then the black layer on top of the white. <clears throat> the 
we can open the vacuum. To make the van the tape the film that uh, the suction without scratch the print head. So after print, we can see also the water is printed out. So we can see the white layer is overlap to left a little bit. The white layer is moved to left. The bottom is the white layer. A little bit moved to left. And to right is all to right. The varnish also move a little bit to left. So we can adjust the calibration, but front and back is almost okay. Forward, the back, the white layer, top layer, similar the same position. So we just uh, adjustment the overlap to left. Then we go to the software. Adjustment headspace here. At two, we can increase because we print the button left. So we just change set the horizontal left and we can increase by two pieces. And also the varnish decrease by two pieces. Then we go to save. <clears throat> And when you go print, start again. So this test the printing fire for the cut, the print head space print. So before we do the calibration, we can see the white ink is out of the overlap of the color ink. After we alignment, we can see the white color varnish to left to right all are good. White color varnish. The bottom is white ink layer. It's not overlap at the bottom top left and the back. So this is the good alignment. So in one word, we just go to the software for alignment. Remember, if we have overlap for wet layer or varnish, we just go to the adjust and headspace. We go to choose, first we print the test printed file, color offset calibration file, and set to right or to left. If we print to right, then we change the number by horizontal to right. If we print, print here by to left, then we change the number by horizontal to left. And we change this number for a little calibration. And the vertical, we just need to calibrate one time. Just increase, reduce the number here. This two is for, uh, for, what in print head and this S3, H3 is for varnish. H1 we keep zero, no change. Please remember, all H1 is zero as a standard position. So we do the same procedure by print the same picture by to right and set to right, save. And then we print. And then after print, we check the overlap. If we have overlap, we just change the number by to right here. The number for here and number here to increase or reduce the number, the, the parameter. After that, we save it. So this is the 
procedure by has space alignment for to left, to right, and vertical. Vertical is for bottom, if we have overlap to bottom or to top. So we just uh, do the vertical adjustment by changing the number by H2 and H3, increase or reduce. And this is a procedure to do the head space alignment to prevent the, the print head, the, the weather ink layer or wash layer overlap. So except we, so after we already did the head space alignment, now we can start to do the last one, the color adjust, uh, the, the bad election. The color adjustment normally we don't need to change because the print head normally is brand new, no change. So we go to the bad election adjustment. We choose bad election. And here we, ch we check the print adjust adjustment picture. And before we do the print adjustment, we can go to setting for the margin, remember. We can set by 20, by 20, and Y margin we keep as default. Then we go to adjustment and the bad election. We choose print adjustment and print. Then the printer starts to print the picture out. And here we must find out, same as before, we check the zero if it's an overlap or not. We find out the best position that without any overlap. So from the picture we can see the zero also have overlap. It's not a good one. The best one is check the top and the bottom all cannot overlap. The top here is move to right and move to right too much. And here is move to left, not good. And the best one, top, bottom, lines, checked is the minus one or minus two, minus one. Here is the best. Minus one is the best. This one is the best. Okay, we find the best one, minus one. Then we go to the software. And we just put minus one is by here plus minus one is 14. 14 point 60, 40, 46. Then we click save. Before it's 13.46, we minus plus, plus, minus, plus minus one will be 14.46. Then we go to print adjustment again. We check if you still, you get the best one. So we, we print on the same position. We can move the table a little bit to front and print again. <clears throat> so here is the second print. Zero is worse. So we also find which one is the better. But before we can see this is not good because we not open the one queue. We must open the one queue. Then we can see the, the correct results. Remember, we must open the one queue before we do the calibration. <clears throat> so here is not a, as the parameter because the one queue not open. The, the, the tape, the film is bent. So we just change the print again.
If the film bent, it will also affect the print result. <coughs> So here is back. So now zero is the best. Top, bottom, middle. So anyway, we just be sure zero, the zero position, the top, bottom, not overlap to left or to right as a straight line. That will be good. Calibration for the bad election. So this is a procedure to do the bad election color, color offset, bad election calibration. If sometimes when we print or we put the material on the table, sometimes we be, or the sometimes the the film is bending or the the head is not adjusted where the material will hit the encryption and encroaching system here. So the alarm sounds coming out. And when we go to the film, when we go to the, the software, it will show anti collision emergency stop at eviction. So by this, we just uh, click confirm. We confirm that we remove everything that block the carriage moving. After we, after we remove the blocking things, then we click release. And then we can move the axis move up or down and then we close it. But this way, the alarm sounds will be disappear. We can continue to print.